Ladies, gentlemen, esteemed non-binaries, trash kin all. Good evening and welcome to another horror sampler on Trash Deer Gaming. I'm your humble host, Rasper Trash Bear, and today we're going to be kicking things off with Village Sins by Game Designer with two R's. Available on each.io for the low, low price of name your own. Let's see, we got a standard was. You mean we escape? Movement is controlled. Uh, so interaction key is E. All right, I think that seems real familiar. <laughs> oh yeah, this. Uh... Huh. I've been having such terrible dreams lately. I need to have a cup of coffee to perk up. Okay. The uh, I feel it's like a, a similar game that I have played before. Ah, uh, coffee machine, coffee machine. Reaper. Now it's time to wake up with a Why cold shower. No, thank you. Oh, yeah, reaping sins. Yeah, reaping sins. I played reaping sins. That's what I was trying to remember. Cold shower. Well, I hear it does good things for the old adipose tissue. Oh, spooky time. So, ah. What just happened? Well, that's what happens when you don't put a door in your shower, my dude. Uh, nope, nope, no need. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but just the mirror strikes me as a TV. Alright. Oh, can't interact with the lights. Got it. Can't just sort of power today. Ooh. Who else came? Humps? Lovely. Hi, Hello. I noticed that you recently moved to this darn village. Yeah, sup? Yes, I just bought this house from a local granny yesterday. You know, I love granny. Not like one of those investor grannies or speculative grannies. I wanted to warn you that this is a very strange place. You don't say. Wait. What do you mean? Well... Uh... What? Unexplainable things happen here. Oh, so that explains the mannequin and the weirdo in my shower? I advise you to leave this place. Huh? Thanks for your advice. But I'll handle it myself. Cue the Ghostbusters theme. Some creepy dude. Oh. I think I'll go take a nap. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll do some reading. Village built on the past cemetery. Mm. Terrific planning! Somber Haven. The village where shadows of the past come alive at night. Author Andrew Game Design of the In a secluded village where silence flickers among the ancient trees, the village of Somberhaven sprawls. Built on the site of an ancient cemetery, the village harbors dark secrets and unexplained phenomena. Legend has it centuries ago the cemetery was forgotten and buried. 
beneath layers of soil. However, when builders began erecting Sombra Haven, souls of the deceased were awakened once more. The village residents became witnesses to strange and mysterious events. Shadows drifting through narrow streets. Every night, ghostly figures emerge from the darkness. Walking between the houses, unseen forces whisper the names of the living, sending shivers through the hearts of the villagers. Solitary fireflies transform into shapeless entities, concealing fear and secrets within. Somberhaven, a village built on house, holds... A tale of restless spirits and enigmatic shadows that dance through its streets. The locals tell tales of seeing ghosts of their ancestors strolling along the cemetery, as if trying to return to the world of the living. All attempts to close or relocate the cemetery have been unsuccessful, as if an unknown force refuses to release its dark secrets. The coffee stain is a nice touch, I might add. Mysterious lights at night form peculiar patterns above houses, as if the souls of the damned are trying to send a message to the living. The village residents fear the night. Their dreams are filled with nightmares, and their eyes are filled with anxiety. Somberhaven has become a village where every stone, every house is permeated with past destinies. The inhabitants live in constant fear. But no one dares leave this cursed place. The fate of Somberhaven is sealed in the shadows of the past, and only time will tell whether this village can break free of its shackles, of its ghostly history. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh -oh. I appear to be stuck in pace while reading this. Um, that's a uh, that's a name problem. Uh, oh. Okay, we're, we're gonna do the same thing, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip the reading session real quick. All right, there we go. Thanks for your advice, uh, but I'll handle it myself. Yeah, busting makes me feel good. So I mean... No, I think I'll go take a nap. Right, right, we're not, we're not reading the paper this time. We read the paper last time. I got stuck in the paper. We, we just sleep in our combat boots and fatigues? Okay. Wow, we, we gotta wax that drawer. What the hell is going on in this house? Oh, uh, we're haunted, man. Uh, we need to get out of this house. Oh, uh, man, this is beyond our capability to ration with. Leave on the radio for the ghosts. Oh, I can't leave on the radio for the ghosts? Okay. Uh... Wow. That that was something. Oh. That, that was the kiss song? Well, not terrible. I, I gotta say, uh, it, it does feel like a follow-up to Reaping Sins. Um, I do like the explanation of the cemetery. That It's kind of a rarity. A lot of people avoid any varietal of explanation. Even just the vague, this happened because... The, uh... The spider skull with, uh, prehensile mouth. Now that's 
That's unique. I haven't seen that asset floating around much these days. Not a bad micro horror title. Good job. All right, next game, Trashkin. All right, Trashkin. First up by Gabriel. Uh, in in the uh, you know, I can never remember the rest of that uh, that routine. Oh, there we are. Ah, yes, Gabriel. In D J L D C. Studio. What? Who you might remember from the Lonely Valley case. And, uh, my mom's tent. Comes old times. So we're gonna hop right in. Start or escape? We're almost done. Mm -hmm. Now you just need to sign this document. Okay, there. Just put my John Hine cock on it. All right, not a problem. I finished. Is the house mine now? Yes, now it is all yours. After the house was my property, I decided to stay there for a few days. These days would be used to organize the house and remember my childhood when I lived with my late parents. I understand. It's finally morning. It's time to go. Yeah! Let's get ready and then lock the house. We're a homeowner now. It's a little cold in here. I better get things in the car quickly. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. That's not safe. Your hazard This whole story the very reminds least. me of my childhood when they were still alive. Did you do your final bag check? All finished. Now I can go. Meet, meet, baby! Not just a little high. Oh, there we go. On the way home, your gas starts to run out. Oh no! Chip, this old car consumes a lot of gas. I'll have to stop here. Now I need to enter the store to unlock pump three. Four thirty nine and four fifty seven respectively. Hey, you. Are you going to Peaceful Pines? Yes. How do you know? Yes, how do this you route know? is normally used for that. But have you heard about the killer that is lurking out there? No. No, I haven't heard about him. It's been a long time since I've been there. So listen to me well. At night, don't leave any windows or doors open. That's when it attacks. It? Okay. Wow, 450. This old man looks drunk or something. Eh, it's just weird looking. Oh, we don't have time for a Coke. Okay. That is a terrific, terrific vending machine, I might add. Ooh. You know, I don't see many potato chip trees my days. We usually get single, single lines of those. Um, let's let me meander this for a minute. Uh, some pretty good tank controls in that ad. Can you put hey, 20 you... bucks in pump three? How do I know of if he told bucks? And wait a minute, are you going to Peaceful Pines? Yes. Yes, I am. I heard there have been a lot of murders there recently. Be careful. Okay. Now you can fuel your car. Thank you, sir. Thank you, too. You have a good one. Stay safe. Everybody seems real concerned about this killer. This seems to be just an urban legend. I won't be afraid of it. 
Sealed it up. Ooh. Some good detail work. One hour later. We haven't been bumping any jams this entire time? I'm finally back. I miss here a lot. Okay, I'll stop the car here. Let me see the situation of the house. Dominated. It's mine. Oh, we got somebody creeping. The grass is really tall here. Should I hire the landscapers first, eh? It's locked. Now that I remember, the key must be in a... Hey! Success! First guess. The the the. Oh, wow. This is better than I imagined. And it this looks is... like there's no power. I need to go outside and turn on the generator. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. can do. Do, 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 do. I must admit, I do find the uh, the VHS tracking routine a little bit tiresome, but I think it's out of fuel. The only way to get fuel is to get it from my car. For this, I will need a hose and a gallon. A gallon? Do, do, do you mean a gas can? A gallon gas can? Okay. No judgment here. Though, very often... There, there are petroleum generators, but most generators run on diesel and some run on propane and that's assuming the generators in working order you know mm -hmm. old pot mm -hmm. it's not a gallon but it works I wouldn't recommend that Oh, from Mom. Dear son, Mom had to take Dad to the hospital urgently. He started to feel sick and started saying he lost the meaning of life. I didn't understand very well. It seems that he's staying here for a long time without contact with the outside world. It seems that staying here for a long time without contact with the outside world can be harmful. See you. Hmm? Never found us a hose. No. No. Not that. No. I guess let's check the, the front. I'm, I'm sure there's a hose for all these flowers somewhere. Well, let's try the side of the house. There should be something back here. That house. That'll do. Why well, you not? Know, we got a potting stand out back. Oh, so soothing. Just out in nature. Just enjoying the pines. Probably collecting all manners of leeches and or ticks. Depending on your region of the world, that is. Mm. 
Uh, uh, Remember, kids, be careful if you have to siphon gas. And don't just swing a container of gas around like that. Okay. Looks like it worked. We got power, now I'll take baby. My bags home. Oh, now we can carry two at a time. Old, old one trip Andy here now. So two trip Tony this morning. Nothing interesting over here. Okay, good to know. Very tired for today. Now I'm just going to prepare the bed and sleep. Oh, I don't even get a vote. <laughs> Day it's great two. to sleep here and then wake up with the birds. Unfortunately, it won't last that long. After all, I'm going to have to clean this entire house. But where will I find a broom? Ah, that's a good question. Did, did we bring, like, zero cleaning supplies with us? Like... Br Why are we sleeping on... A sleeping bag when we have a, a couch... A bedroom... Ah, uh, it hurts my brain a little. I, I guess I guess our lead is just weird and prefers a a pallet and uh, a sleeping bag to uh, you know uh, an actual bed. Some oof, that is a war crime right there. Okay. Oh, this is this is the bath. Okay. Good. No. Bedroom bath. Oh, well, that's convenient. Uh, that's where we started the day. Okay. Well, we got no brooms there. Uh, I don't know why you would need a broom. This appears to mostly be large tritus. Um, I mean, I just scoop it myself, but... Same note. Same note. I guess let's venture out then. Oh, this is actually pretty. In the pale light of day, that's... Pretty nice. I'd have moved up the car. It doesn't appear to be any large obstructions, but... No, if you don't need power during the day, you should probably cycle off that Jenny. I'm, I'm just saying, bro. Conservation of power is important. Oh, we, we've had a sprint this entire time. Was there a broom out back? Oh, so there was. This seems to work. Now I can start cleaning the house. We should start by cleaning that bench. All right. Well, let's let's clean and uh, furiously, shall we? Yeah, you you could at least. Oh, there you go. I was going to say, it, it's a weird guy that cleans up around the fallen stool, and then doesn't put it back up. Oh, that's one room done. 
I don't know why we insist in sleeping over here, but... It's a pleasant little study. Just, you know, with a, a bed right there. Oh, hello. Second door. Well, was that a second door? Just, uh... Oh, okay, I see what they did there. My brain translated as new door. Well, let's hit the bedroom. We'll finish with this hour. Why not? There we go. All set. Alright, let's erase this war crime. There we go. We're looking respectable, although I can't help but notice this shower lacks proper drainage. Just saying, that's going to be problems. Ah, last bit. I finished. Now I need to take all this rubbish to the nearest dumpster. Yeah, gotta dumpster this trash. I have no idea where the nearest dumpster is. I, I assume it's that wall in front of us that I assumed was a wall for the generator. Which, I mean, you really don't want to put a generator that far from a house if you can help it. Like, it does cut down on, on the noise. That's a fence, all right. Ah, there's the nearest dumpster. Let's go for speed! Oh, hey! A creeper in the distance. Missing George 2155. For any, uh, for any information, call... Stained. This person must have been a victim of the killer. Huh. Am I creep out? Ooh. Creeper gone. We're being stalked, hunted, and incidentally, we have probably brought along a weed eater, buddy. Like, good lord, this, this yard. You might want to break out a brush hog, maybe make friends with somebody with an ATV and a drag behind brush bar. You know, it's, it's looking rough is what I'm saying. One more bag of trash. One thing I know. Whoa! Hey, calm down. Why come on like this? I'm sorry. I noticed movement in this area. So I decided to check it out. Dude! I wanted to ask you. Are you new here? Yes and no. Not really. I've lived here for a few years. I understand. But without wanting to be curious. Did you come here alone? Yes. Here it is very dangerous recently. I heard about the killer. Don't exactly. just volunteer that info! He's killing random people out there. Normally defenseless people. It was just that. Stay alert. You realize you could have just been given the killer info there, right, buddy? That's really weird. Yeah. Why did you notice movement in this area, bro? What you doing out, of, out along the property line? Like, it's a free country. There's clearly a freeway here, but... 
Duh. I suppose that, that dumpster's a pretty good ambush point, too. Oh man, pick that up. Put that in the trash, you, you, you ne'er-do-well. Do <sighs> My estimate of you is grossly exaggerated, I see. Got a dude that just leaves it next to the dumpster. Come on, now! I almost forgot. I have to remove these graffitis from this wall. I think a bucket of water and a broom will be enough. In what world? <laughs> nah, nah, what we need is a drill... And, uh, a stripping wheel or pad. Maybe a little paint thinner. Dependent. Paint thinner doesn't help you out quite so much on concrete. You wanna... You wanna want something in the, uh, stiffer heavy-duty family for the, the old scrubbo pad. Was this here before? Looks like that police officer dropped it. That was a police officer? I'll take this broom. Now we need a bucket, eh? Well, unfortunately, we had to throw out the gas hut. Hmm. This is some pretty good old the school game vibes, I must say. I'm I'm having a delightful time. Yeah, you know, the solution to everything's been behind the house before. Yeah, you, you know, I, I would see about contacting the department and let them know that they dropped their ID because I'm pretty sure the reason they haven't caught them. Nope. That won't do. Maybe grab a pot, or maybe grab a, a potted plant, throw it out, and use it as a bucket, like an, like an animal. Well, let's uh, try the bedroom. Nope. 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 Yeah, that's one. Uh, let's try the bathroom. This is this is feeling very adventury game to me. All right, no bucket, no shot. Oh, okay. Well, I guess let's uh, check behind the sign itself. That was the last place we had a pot, after all. Oh, yeah, we did just leave the pot there like an animal. I believe we have a hose around back. If that's the case, there's a spigot, which might be mildly more convenient. No? Alright. Pitch it is, then. If we don't have running water, so help me glob. Aha! Excellent. Do we have anyone to call? Nope. No one to call. Don't even use radio. I feel like this, the door opens and we face away thing is going to come back to haunt us. We got a war on graffiti to fight. Though, I mean, as graffiti goes, not terrible. Okay, now I'd better take a break to eat. I brought some snacks in my bag.
Snook, and I can't quite make out the second word. Nook after. Like that. Well, let's see about that snack, bro. <sighs> Got a cargo load. Did you perhaps pack the, the infamous ramen bomb? You might be asking, what's a ramen bomb? Well, alright, so uh, one of the favorite extra cheap variety of hiking foods and camping foods is a ramen bomb. Which is usually a brick of ramen smash so it'll fit into your, uh, your uh, cooking pot on the trail. I guess our snacks are in a backpack like a weirdo. Aha. You fare the ramen normally, but with the addition of some powdered potato. You know, some some instant potato. I'm very bored. Does this TV work? And uh, usually. A protein of your choice and a, a little bit of flavoring and voila you have a calorie dense lightable or light portable and uh, very cheap food that's easy to prepare at the end of a long so day so all i can do is sleep now or read you heathen you've got a whole whole hacking Block of the classics. I see some Reader's Digest condensed dance numbers there. There's bound to be something worthwhile from the public domain there. You've also got a radio, you goon. Why, well, as a boy growing up in the wilds of northern Michigan, amongst the pines, Many was the day we, we were joyful to have a radio with decent reception. Well, I, I guess we're going to bed then. Good night, game. Rest well. I'll we'll most likely kill you in the morning. I mean... Who could be at this hour? Shit. Who is the idiot knocking on the door these hours? <laughs> I'll have to get out of bed to check. Do we have a Judas hole? Uh, a peephole? I mean... This is probably a bad idea. <laughs> That's why... Killer's a police okay. officer. Let's stop playing. That really hurt me. Where are the cameras? And what place is this? Killer's been a police officer this entire time. Guys, it looks like you made a new friend tonight. It is not. Oh. Okay, it, it, uh... Okay, Gabriel, it, it did dump me straight back to the desktop. I get it. Um, I don't count that against games. It always takes me a little by surprise, though. Um, good job. Interesting twist. Decent premise. I can't help but wonder if I can get away. But we'll fiddle with that later. I'll leave that for you to find for yourselves, Trashkin. So, yeah, yeah, no mentions of, uh, if there's a second ending there. But yeah, very, very tight game. Good, uh, good nostalgic, tanky, Silent Hill uh, adjacent vibes. It's a little, 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 uh, early horror survival nostalgia there for me? It was a fun trip. Good job. Keep up the work. I'll be keeping an eye out. I gotta try out Mom's tent at some point. 
So that's going to do for this one. Next game, Trashkin. Next up, by and ground, Elevated Dread. Available on each side, I.O. For name your own price. Got anything funky going on in the options? Nope. All right, let's roll. Wow, it's been a rough, or a long and rough day. Long day, slinging trash over a conveyor. Finally, this is the last house. Oh man, I'm at I'm having flashbacks to to being a delivery driver there. I just need to put up the remaining flyers on every apartment's door. Okay, now I I was lucky, Trashkin, working a smaller town. I did argue for flyer work, but it wasn't mandatory. I argued for flyer work because, as I pointed out, we could be making sales. <laughs> and that's it. I'll get my first salary. All right, we just got to slap some hangers on doors. Slide some flyers. Is that a hearse? Oh, no, that's just a station wig. It is rather hearse, I think. Hey, uh... Oh. That's weird. There's nobody in there. Let's, uh... Take a little bit of happiness. Recess. Elf. Well, love's half taken. Who knows what else was there? Nursing, nursing. Be aware we're coming in. He is following you? Eh. You enter any free digital apartment number, I'll let you in. One, oh, two. Huh. Happy breathing was a little off button. Yeah, real classy. Let's see. Halloween party. Du, 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 du. Don't have a sprint. Fire for you. Fire for you. Oh man, the injection molded table I see in every one of these apartments. Look, if you can afford a full table, you can afford a full table. But, like, some of us can't get a hold of anything. Like, it's what's lying around. Like, I've been there. No judgment here. Huh? 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 The stairs phase me out of existence? Okay. What do you say, game? Mm-hmm. Citon. But that's clearly what it says down there. C-T-O-N. Citon. Du-du-du-du-du. Um, whoa. What the heck was that? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, 
There is weirder and weirder stuff. Oh, brother, what did I sign out for? Oh, oh, I just got, just got another, another, another few floors. <coughs> There's another few floors. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Oh, a fancy painted bridal. Lovely. Moving for us over there. Oh, I haven't finished. I haven't finished. Oh my, I haven't finished. I mean, I felt fairly confident I did. Now I'm not going to worry about, about that. Oh boy. Ah, oh. This isn't going to go well for us. Just a, just a, just, 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 just a tombstone. It's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, fine. It's a perfectly normal thing to be in an apartment. They're just planning ahead for their horrible death. Well, that's a good thing. If they're eating someone else, they can't be eating me, right? Right? Ah, oh, that's a fine knife collection you got there. Truly astounding, the, the quality's quite consistent. Is that the Damascus steel I see there with Fultang? How lovely. So rare, you see. So, so avid a collector these days. 
Did you manage to embed that in the wall handle first? That is impressive. Yeah, yeah, sixth floor first. Sure, sure. We definitely need to do this in order to get paid. That is certainly a qualifier. Giant, giant plastic flower. And a detached, still powered on fuse box for some reason. Giant eyeball. Well, that's lovely and terrifying. I hate killer rose here. Okay, that's a good spook. Alright, one here. One there. Bing bang, clutch clump to you too, sir. Uh... Oh, hey, an eyeball in an upside down cradle. That's awesome. Seems to be like someone's interpretation of what an apartment building could be like. Oh, hey, one of them levitating zero G tables? Oh, man, that's awesome. I, I thought you had to, to pay an arm and a leg for those. Sure, I'd love to be a part of. Later. Much later. Possibly never. Oh. Okay, that music might come back to bite me. Oh, not in game. I mean, copyright. My job is to put up flyers, not walk in rooms. Uh oh. We're doing so good. That's a big container of tomato soup. Whoa! seen it fire up that door is woofing uh, some pretty good liminal space work there I must admit I'm a little nervous that you might try it again game one more floor one more floor then we get paid That is weirdly normal looking. No door. No doors. <sighs> I feel like this is about to go very poorly for us. Alright, we did one all the way back down. We're probably history. Probably done for. Probably gonna sink this elevator into a blood sea. Something else weird. Who knows? It's every door in this cursed place. Uh oh. 
Uh oh. Uh huh. Oh no. We've been back rooms. Oh boy. This could be it. Could very well be it. Ah, this is the doll again. Have a good time there, buddy. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, brother. Oh, dear sweet merciful glob. the hallway is long. Well, that's disturbed. Flowers. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Boy. That's a hell of an elevator ride. Must have blacked out for a second. Uh oh. Whoa! That is some good tension play. Just just adding the hide closets added to it. Like I feel like that was a debate with the hide closets. But I still wanted to play with it because it was there. Um Very good. I wasn't expecting expecting such disciplined use of tension and liminal space that that's that's quite refreshing i must say because usually 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 there's a screamer or two on the way but good ah oh, van graham and graham is it underground or or just and ground uh, Terrific work. I'll have to keep an eye on you. Like this, this is really well put together. You're, you're playing with a lot of tension. You're maintaining discipline. You're you're not uh, cashing in the tension early with cheap spooks. And what spooks are there aren't screamers. They're interesting. Good job. I I really like it. It isn't earth shattering, but this is excellent work. Very solid. All right, Trashkin, next game. All right, Trashkin, next game up. Far Away by Level, available on each.io for the low, low price of name your own. We uh, have a game about a 19-year-old driving home. Mia. All right. Insert. That's the first time I've seen insert for a start game, but okay. Press have to exit the vehicle, you need to stop first. Okay. Uh oh. Ooh. Mia. Mia, strong girl. I mean, look, just. Yeah, Mia, Mia, strong. This, yeah, me, 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 a force to be reckoned with, clearly. But there we go. Driving instructions would have been appreciated. Ooh, that's that's just a little hot. Excuse me, just a moment, Trashkin. That that is. That is going to drive me right round the bend. Hold up just a moment, Trashkin. Okay, I think that'll do better. Whoa! Mia, we should probably maintain this motor. It doesn't sound healthy. I'm just, I'm just saying. I know, whoa, this... 
Oh, no collisions with the light poles. Good, good to know. Can I get the radio? No radio. Mia, the, I've I've driven some some uh, gets me no respect hoopties before in my life, but never ever have I driven without at least a radio, uh, a terrible car speaker, some earplugs, something. How do you stand this? No tunes to bump? Oh, hey. That looks like a gas station. I'm out of gas. Good. That, uh, good that there is nearly a gas station. Yeah, there's a gas station nearly. Yeah. I gotta love Yeah, I, I think the suspension on this thing is shot, Mia. Just, just look at that bobble. Hey, other people. That, that's the rarest thing in a horror game to date. Let's see. A buck eighty-eight, a buck ninety-nine, two thirty-three. Gas schools weren't this, or gas prices weren't this low for quite some time. Can we pay a pump? Oh, we can't have that a human interaction. Okay, let's see what kind of other weirdos are hanging out here. Oh, dude, this is a really nice looking gas station. This might be one of the nicer gas stations I've seen. Well, weird. Doesn't have doors. Just kind of a blank space. I thought that was where they put the, uh... The tanks are a little weird. Maybe maybe they do propane here? Hmm. I think Hank Hill would hang his, his head in shame of that setup, but... Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's the far side. Oh, this... This place is loaded for bear. They have EV stations. Unless that's the diesel side. But it looks like EV to me. Just, uh, I'm saying. This this place feels like a very strange piece of time because we have cheap gas. We have electric vehicle charging stations. The fresh produce. Now, that is a true rarity in anything convenience store or gas station. That proto You see produce that looks that good on a roadside stand, you get it. Believe you me, that 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 looks like some fine eating right there. Hey, lady, how are you? Hi, I'm okay. Where are you headed? Headed home. It's a real, real weird thing to ask. Oh, dude, that is a hell of a dairy case. That's free dairy cases. Damn. The snack aisles look very appealing. What else we got here? Oh man, that's a wide variety of chips. So if that's the bathroom, what's that back room for? Hi there. Hi, can I get a pump for real? It'll be fifteen ninety nine. Okay, so assuming we're cheaping out, that's like. That's a fair few gallons. That's that's more than ten. Like eleven Z's, twelve Z's. Anything else? Oh no, thank you. Have a good drive then. Something feels off about you specifically. Not you, but you. <laughs> Kinda looks like a Subaru. My god, we've been driving without a license plate this entire time. Alright, well, let's fill up. I can drive again now. Awesome, let's get... Let's get gone. Oop. 
And as I attempt to take out a... Wait, are those floating lamps? My goodness, they are. Whoa! Crashing is a possibility, okay. I... did not expect that. Okay, I, I have been officially surprised. Well, let's get after it. Would have been nice if they popped us back at the gas station, but okay. Is the traffic randomized? Oh, nope, nope. There's the RV. Well, trash can, I'm not going to make you sit through that twice, so... Okay, I said I wouldn't make you sit through that twice, but I just realized this thing's a 4x4. No, seriously, that's a 4x4 settings. Now that the light's gone and I can't read them anymore. We should be... yeah, about there anyway. Ah, hang it. We need the content anyway. I'm out of gas. Does the gauge read that? That's RPM. That's mileage. That's temp gauge. That's identical to temp gauge. That's another temp gauge. And none of them are marked as low. I just assume that, um... Mia is psychically attuned to their car. Oh yeah, they have diesel. Eh, maybe I can spot something. Is usually you don't have and oh no, yellow is usually universal indicator of diesel. You usually don't see mixed pumps at the same station in my neck of the world though. See, usually they have a dedicated pump for diesel in my neck of the woods, but yellow is the universal color of, hey, this is diesel, don't use that. Alright, well, well, we'll go with the same routine. Okay. Driving home. Hey, there's a weirdo. Can I just uh, get a quick fill up? Thank you. I wonder if they set it up to be usable at any pump. Or just, uh, the pump we're nearest. I have to get my car close to the pump. Okay, game, I did not expect you to care. Co-working. As opposed to co 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 op And... Alright, we can drive again. Alright, now this time... Oh yeah, those are floating lamps. Go figure. Alright, let's GTFO! Mia, I'm gonna tell you this now. Just put on the four-wheel drive and eat the gas loss. Trust me. Probably gonna want it before this game is over. Ooh, would you look at that woods? Deep and dark and lovely. Though granted, dark woods at night in these games usually don't work out for me. Doesn't mean I can't be appreciative of a uh, penumbra woods. Ooh, ooh, transition. Story? Oh, hey, we're home. Really tired, I need to rest. Check your mail. Ooh. You got some nice digs. Finance today and breaking news. Huh? That sounded real weird. You should really close your laptops. Dust isn't good for them. Well, okay, closing your laptop doesn't really protect us. When was the last time you cleaned that thing, though? Seriously. Nothing to interact with there. Single hoodie on the hook. Okay. Nice. 
What is that sound? It sounds like a, a clogged sink. It sounds like a trickle of water that just will not go down. Huh? And bed. Two twenty three AM. Why are we up? I have a weird feeling. I just started waking up at night for no reason. I'm thirsty. Well, I'd say thirsty is a pretty good reason to wake up. Whoa! Uh, are we one of those weirdos that uh, only drinks from our water bottle? Or a candle? Ah. There's some interesting geometry going on in these mirrors. Yeah, that seems to be far out incorrectly, but the, the deep darkness, on the other hand, is only picking up light sources. Which, fair, like, if you're going to choose between working mirrors and a functioning game, like, obviously a functioning game. Well, I guess let's, let's grab a coffee cup. Nope. Nope. All right, right about the fridge. Oh, you're a bottled water girl. Need milk. Well, we should have grabbed it when we were at the gas station. Come on, now. Well, what was that? Hi, lad. Ew. Who this? Definitely this morning's messing Jamie again. I could go back to bed. Yeah, yeah, there's a creeper. Creeper be creeping in our DMs. Oh, screw this. No. Dude, knocking like the opening to the boondocks. Excuse me. To the ending credits of the boondocks. Who the hell is that? I will call the police if you don't get out. Please open the door. Oh! Uh. I had to try the bad decision first, Rashkin. What can I tell you? Well, let's see what the good decision does, shall we? Or if they just kick the door in. Oh, two endings. Okay, game. I wasn't expecting that. Make sure to join the Discord. There's a Discord? Okay. Well, that threw me right back to the start. We're, we're going to uh, do that, but better this time. So if you'll excuse me, trash can. So, of course, we hop back on the road, hit the gas station, do everything the same way as before. So we'll just do the highlights here, Trashkin. So, ah, there's the RV. Really, really ties the whole game together, that RV. Alright, back when something interesting happens. And back to the gas station. Yep. 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 Whoa. Yeah. Ah, like I know what I'm doing. Alright. Park it. Whoa. Well, Trashkin... 
It would appear my car was in fact possessed. Well, back to it. Uh, no shade to, to the developer on this one. Uh, vehicle programming is tricky from what I hear. It, it does make for a pretty funny moment, though, to see my car careen off from the, the gas pump and uh, crash itself. How that happened, I do not know. But it did. So, uh, I guess... Run number three? <laughs> ah, there's the gas station. Shaboom, shaboom. Da -da 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 I don't know why, but I had a particular scene from a particular film called Roadhouse pop into my head. And a particularly irresponsible rich dude just uh, swerving up the road, singing all around to uh, Shaboom. Stuck in my head, which seems like a grand time, but it's also horribly irresponsible. Don't don't do that. That's bad. Okay, car. We're gonna have problems this time. I'm gonna behave. We're gonna get you some nice petrol, maybe a little oil. Which reminds me, uh, safety brain Rass feels obligated to say this. <clears throat> Remember, before trying to fuel a car, to turn off the freaking ignition, man. Also the lamps, and also make sure you touch metal before you do uh, the gas pump. It, it sounds silly, but it, a spark can cause an ignition. And remember, it's the vapors that ignite, not the fuel itself. Hi, I'm okay. It's uh, not your concern. Because I know you creeping. Hi! There's a creeper in your lobby. Could you get me the heck out of here? Thanks, big priest. Should have grabbed the milk. You have a good one. <clears throat> oh, they got the nice recycling bins. Just let me, uh... Yeah. Oh, that low detail dial. I, I get it. You, you, you need a, a macro model. Whoa! Easy there. Easy, station wagon. We'll be home soon. Get you some oil then, all right? But we gotta lose a creeper. Relax. Calm yourself, station wagon. It's all right. We'll be home soon. You can, you can rest your weary tires then. Just, uh... Whoa! Okay. Oh, there we go. I have to fuel my car. Oops. Hey, dentist thing, it's still running. Apparently you can just run your way up to the transition mark at no penalty. Although, I gotta say, the handling on this thing? Amazing. Just, just look at this turn radius, man. Those rear wheels must reverse along with the front in order to speed up that turn. Damn! Got to fill up. I was so focused on getting away from Creeper, I forgot to fill up. So distracted by by the good trash cans, I didn't even think about it. All right, success. Now we can get away from Creeper. So quick aside, because this one kicks you straight back to desktop, we'll be pulling back in on the uh, the opening screen for final thoughts at the end of things here. Uh, first we gotta get home first we gotta get home perfect alright this will go fast now door shut the, 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 the. yeah we really do need rest bet
Yep, we firsty. Hi, lad. Hey, oh. Oh, this. <laughs> See, that's when you hit the block button right there. Ah, definitely this moron is messaging me again. All right, 2.47 a.m. All right, let's see what the good ending is. Two laptops. This girl rich. What the hell is this? I will call the police if you don't get out. No, get out. I'm calling the police. Uh... Oh, well, isn't that great? Yep. Hmm. I gotta figure out how to call the police. Okay. I failed to understand the assignment. Uh, one momentito, Trashkin. All right, Trashkin, armed with the knowledge of the ancient scrolls, we do it again. Into our fateful station wagon steed. Which hopefully behaves this time. Alright, we'll do it highlight style. And there's the RV. Staple of the game opening. Alright, we, we're getting it right this time. Alright, see you at the gas station. Alright, here we are. Alright, this, this, this time stay. Stay station wagon. There we are. All right, first things first. None of your concern, creeper. Hey, can I get the pump? Actually, can I interact with any of this dairy? We cannot interact with any of this dairy. Okay. Good to know. Heck you, dude. Creeper. Your mom dresses you funny, I might add. All right, this time we remember to fuel up. Okay, Station Wagon, get us out. I am forced to mention, however, that, uh, as it turns out, that first smooth transition has never happened again onto the road. Um, don't know if that's just the nature of the lip, because, yeah, there should be a little bit of a bob, but, like, I get a pop. What, what can you do? The game functions fine otherwise, apart from one instance of possessed car driving into a tree. Alright, back to... And home. Alright, gotta keep this quick. Already over budget for this one. So apparently what you need to do is run back and hide under your bed, which isn't my first instinct. I'd have locked the bathroom door, but... I have a weird feeling. Actually, no, we leave that open. Ah, there we are. Hello there! <laughs> Who this? And then you hit the block button. 
And what's most alarming is apparently this beplad weirdo somehow got a hold of our number. Or our Facebook. Which already says they don't respect personal boundaries. But this moron's mentioned again implies they've had prior history with. Door magically closed? Door magically closed. Oh, resetting the level's kind of good policy for a few of these. What the hell? I will call the police. No. I'm calling the police? Uh, okay. Did it work? Oh, that's bad. Wow. My comforter is paper thin. I should get my money back. As soon as the police came, the stalker was already gone, and they couldn't find the person later. I've changed my house and state. I'm really afraid to see him again. Yeah, that's that's the old, let's never meet ready if ever heard it. I've told the cops about the chat with the stalker. They still couldn't find the stalker, the number, and the location couldn't be found. Ending two of two. Oh, there we go. Attributions. Kick door, kick wave. Thanks for playing. Make sure to join the Discord. And that means desktop pretty soon. All right. So, thoughts. Um, well, I'm not the biggest fan of stalkers in a game. It It is a call to common problem for people. Women in particular. And it frankly deserves more attention and um, more discussion. Uh, the game build is a little bit rough, but it's perfectly serviceable. The detail work is pretty good. Um, I'd recommend swapping out the, uh, the produce stand section for, for a slightly different produce stand section inside to contrast that that that's a tiny detail it's a, it's a nothing um the vehicle controls well enough uh the transition onto the road's also a little rough and i did have that instance of ghost car but all in all for a very short piece of horror um definitely like the multiple endings uh i'd appreciate the ability to uh to buy milk that that be a nice little tension builder is having to go back in past the creeper and, and pick up milk because you remembered as you finished fueling up the car that you need milk. I, I'm just saying that that could be a tension build opportunity right there. Very little, very little to add for interactivity or or difficult coding. That that could that could be a thing that that's that's where my brain went uh, the second play uh, overall it's a fine build it could use a little polish here and there but perfectly serviceable a good time definitely worth playing all right next game trashkin all right trashkin next up by riven available on each.io for the low low price of name your own Dark Dark Woods, in which a childhood poem takes over the protagonist's life. Throughout my life, a certain poem has haunted me. I first heard it when I was still a child. Even then, it was engraved in my memory and caused me anxiety. 
It was very strange to me that when I asked my friends if they had also heard it, they claimed that they had, but they did not know from whom. Therefore, I decided to find out more about its origin. I was obsessed. I searched unsuccessfully for many years for any information about it. Friends turned away from me. Family only tolerated me. I just had to know why it evoked such extreme emotions in me. And finally, one day, after almost an eternity of losing myself by ignoring basic human needs like eating and drinking, I had a dream. I saw what I think is the actual place the poem is referring to. I decided to head there and record it on my camera. At last, I learned the steps to unlocking the mystery. Oh, and what is this cursed poem? I have it right here with me in my car, so it's always close to me. Press tab to read the poem. In the dark, dark woods was a dark, dark house, and in that dark, dark house was a dark, dark room, and in that dark, dark room there was a dark, dark table, and on that dark, dark table there was a dark, dark coffin, and in that dark, dark coffin was a white, white... Five candles extinguished, no? Oh, oh yeah, it's supposed to be a dark, dark wood. It must be a dark, dark wood. This... This vibe is impeccable, I must say. Digging it. Oop. Oh, my old enemy, the invisible wall. That's fine. That's dandy. I don't mind at all. Hello. Creepy. Creepy. Some... Some good tension. That was probably me tripping over my own feet. Gorgeous. Probably my doom. Last candle. Oh dear. can fit for in now. Oh! The candles were blocking the way. Okay. Alright. About to learn some things. Is that just the sound of the dark, dark house settling? was supposed to be I'm sorry I did this to you but she made me do it and I hope you know that bearing you here is the only thing I can do to make it right or at least better maybe I shouldn't have come back here at all turn back what if I won't oh is that the the titular she who made you do it uh, that's a quality screamer. 
my uh, jibbies have been rustled. I mean, we've come this far. Why ever would I turn back now? After my jimmies have been so thoroughly rustled, that is. I mean, you rustle my jimmies. I'm going to finish your game. That's the deal. There it is. The dark, dark house, which the poem, I'll admit, failed to mention a dark, dark clearing. A stateway. My flashlight has stopped. Flashlight dead now. No worky. Well, something about being able to open. I need a key to open this door. <sighs> this thing is full of some kind of meat and it breaks. You gonna spook me, game? Clatu, Bara, Bananarama. <laughs> Excuse me, Clatu, Barata, Nictu. Yeah, that 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 that's the thing I'm trying to remember. I certainly have no idea what to do now. Oh, I have to interact with it twice. I see. It has to describe to me the deeply unpleasant thing I put my hand into. Oh, you're the white maggot. Okay, I see. Is it a chambers reference? Of course it's a cannibal. Of course. Thanks for playing. I hope you had a good time. I did. It's it's a very solid micro build, I have to say. Um, getting me to collect things in the woods is a great way to to induce anxiety in me because slender exists. No, seriously, the eight pages will haunt me forever. The atmosphere is excellent. The detail work is very good. Um, it's very easy to slide into that game space. I'd love to see what you do with a longer game, and I'll be keeping an eye on your work. But, Trashkin, that is going to do it for this episode of Horror Samplers. So I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I've hoped you found something worth playing. I certainly hope at some point something was interesting enough for you to stop, go play it yourself, and come back. Because that is the main goal here. And if nothing else, I was at least able to spotlight some indie devs. So that's it. I'd like to thank you all for coming out. I'd like to thank you all for joining me around the trash fire for some snacks, some soda, and some scafaws while I play some games. I've been your humble host, Raspa Trash Bear, and I'd like to remind you all to count your spoons, hydrate, medicate, take care of yourselves as best you can. Don't forget to tell the people you love you give a good damn. Make some time to play some games for yourself. Good night, and I'll see you all in the next one.